Hi, it's Melissa, and I'm so happy to be back with you at the Scrappery today. So today I wanted to make a layout that focused on using the Nuvo embellishment mousse that comes in the colour kit, and it's um, it's like a texture paste, but I think it's a little bit softer. And so what I wanted to do was have quite a neutral background so that I could um, really pick up on the on that mousse, and it is a pink um, metallic mousse <laughs> and sorry guys and so I thought that this um this piece that I was left over from my last layout I'm using the b-side which is that uneven spot um I wasn't sad about giving up the other side of it I have made two layouts based on that paper on the on the b-side sorry the a-side so I had no qualms about just using that entire piece so I've just used some double-sided tape to just sort of tack it down and I know I'm going to use my sewing machine later and then I decided because I'm in a mixed media mood I've been in this mood for a while now <laughs> which is unusual for me but to do the packaging technique and so I made myself stay away from pink I used some blue and some yellow and then um, that blue is a Kaiser Craft mist that we got in one of the color kits and I think the other colour I used was a peachy colour, also from Casercraft. So that's the mist, and this is the stencil. That's 12 by 12 uh, cross stencil from Casercraft. I think it comes in the colour kit as well. So I wanted to use the two products together. Now, this product is interesting. It's um, harder than it looks. Um, it's very soft, but it has an odd kind of, well, I guess because it's a mousse, it's got a moussey texture, if that makes sense. But anyway, it um, once I persevered with it, it's not perfect through the stencil, but that doesn't matter because mixed media shouldn't be, in my opinion, perfect anyway. So I did dry that off a little bit with my heat gun and then set it aside to dry. I had to take a child to the doctors today, so I knew that when I got back, I would get the rest of the layout done. It would be dry. I did think about fussy cutting those flowers, but um, I don't know. I decided to leave them whole and then use them as a mat for my photo. I just loved all the colour, and you can't even tell that there are florals around the edge. Then I thought about the, using the B side, that beautiful wood grain, a grey wood grain, tried a few other pieces of paper and then came back to the wood grain because I think everything else was either too bold or too bright. So I, I like the little um, little pop of, not really a pop isn't it, because you can't be neutral and popping, but I liked the neutral um, border that this provided. So just trimming it off. Um, and then I did think about using that beautiful circular paper. I even cut a rectangle that would fit. And then I remembered that we had vellum, and I thought I'd better use that vellum because we get a whole sheet of it. And I think um, once I have done my next project, once I've finished this, I might as well just tell you, I'm planning to do um, a couple of pocket pages to go with this photo. This photo is of my friend and I at the beginning of a duathlon that we did in February. It's on the rail trail, which is in central Otago of New Zealand. So it's about, it starts about an hour away from where I live. And basically it's 150k over two days. She was the runner, I'm the mountain biker. And it was two legs a day. So it's pretty full on. Um, yeah, certainly, we were certainly really exhausted at the end of it, um, and it was a huge challenge, and we camped overnight um, in the night time that was between the two days, so on the Saturday night. So this will essentially be the first page in my album. Um, I like to do um, a 12 by 12, then a couple of pocket pages, and then another 12 by 12. So I've got several photos. Um, this is us at the start, and I can't remember if if, remember if it was a selfie or whether her husband took it but anyway it doesn't matter um this is us and we're looking a little bit nervous and we were excited we didn't know what to expect we didn't know how many people would be doing it um we didn't know how fit these people would be we um she's really really fit she's a marathon runner and I had trained since um probably seriously since January but December as well and this was actually me training for something else, which I will scrap in the future too. So I decided to use the words, or one of the words of the chipboard that says wonderful. 
and I was a bit nervous there because um, the sticky was it, it had the sticky backing was adhered or attached to it, so I didn't want to press it down too hard. And then um, I decided to put the word nervous because we were. And I love these dear Lizzie stickers; they are just so beautiful. I love that they're quite solid, that they are slightly shiny, and they've got an enamel feel to them. So. Um, just making sure that's straight and it wasn't quite and what I do is I write down the word and I'll find the middle letter and, and put that one down first so I think in this case it was the um, the V so then the chipboard sheet had the word moments on it and I thought that would go really well wonderful nervous moments so you would have seen me while I was talking about what the photo is about I used that um, is it chill silvery sparkly chul. I cut it in half and put it on either side of my photo. I have used another piece exactly the same way. I just think it looks really lovely and adds some texture in a subtle yet sparkly kind of way. So I have just um, stuck the moments on top of that and you'll see soon that I've run it through my sewing machine there and I've also gone along the edge where the paper is torn. So that um, the reason I went through the word moments was not just the texture, but I had a feeling that that wasn't going to stay very well on there. So I've put foam behind my photo to pop it up. I also put half a doily on the right side. I just felt that because I'm doing a big title and a bit different for me to put a title um, on the edge running in the direction that it is. A sideways title, I guess. It's not something I normally do, but I felt that because I wanted a big title that that was the best way to get it on the page so here I put it on crooked that little sticker I do this quite often and then I just use some glue to fix it it just says unforgettable and now it's the embellishment time so that little um, what do you call that tag label <laughs> labels is wonderful and I've stapled it as well and then I found I was just rummaging around in my little plastic container these are bits and pieces I've used before on other layouts and um, I just found that little label and I thought that would be perfect for the date so then I'm adding some of these beautiful Kaisercraft gems they are silver and I think they work really well um, with the quite neutral look of this layout and adding my journaling and I had quite a lot to say really um, yeah, I just talk about how we were nervous, um, but excited as well. And um, I put the location of where we were, which is the Clyde Railhead. So basically this used to be a railway track, and now it's not. They pulled the tracks up, and you can bike and walk it, so or, or run this entire track. So that is my layout. I put the date on off camera. I hope you enjoyed this process video. I will make the next pages that will go with this very soon and share them with you. I hope you enjoyed it. Take care.